everybody i'm going to present you today how to make a motor generator a very easy inverter <coughs> from two motors actually this is a myth that with uh, one motor spinning the other one you can make free energy and stuff which i'm going to show you this is not true so stop watching those fake videos one motor turning the other with a small capacitor and that's it free energy no folks there is no such thing for this project we're gonna need two motors this is a 5 or 3.5 motor that you can find in any small electrical like wind stuff uh, powered by batteries and so and this is a 12 volts battery recovered from uh, the Philips epilator that uh, you're gonna see there I do have uh, two videos more interesting so for this project we're gonna need just two motors in between them uh, you're gonna find this kind of stuff that you can recover from a pen and we're gonna attach one motor to the other like so we're gonna put them in this old power bank case very simple and very straightforward folks so it's very easy and that's it we do have a motor generator because i as i told you previously in my other videos any motor any motor any dc motor and as well as universal motor if it's spin becomes a generator yeah so there you have it folks this is the motor generator or 12 volts inverter basically we're gonna apply power to this to this side and we're gonna get 12 volts or even more on the other side I do have on the back here uh, some double-sided scotch tape to, because this one is m is making a lot of vibrations and we're gonna attach it like so on this board all right we're gonna bring in the power source which is this lithium ion one eight six five zero battery and we're gonna apply power to this side and we should getting an output on the other side all right so we're gonna connect this alligator clips we're gonna connect the multimeter to the dc section right here we're gonna put the cables to the alligator clip so as you can see it there you go and straight away we're gonna apply power to it and we're gonna see our output here we go folks 18 19 19 yeah so it's working first you're gonna have the impression that wow i'm putting 3.5 volts and i'm getting 19 more or less with some losses that's it free energy now folks because as soon as you're gonna connect a load even a small one like this this is uh, 1.7 watts 12 volts led car bulb yeah so this one doesn't consume lots of power but as soon as we're gonna connect it to the output you're gonna see the um, power drawing for this battery increases all right so let's test it first if this one is gonna work yeah because the main purpose of the video is to make an inverter a generator kind of so if we're gonna see some kind of output there you go we did connect it straight away you see it there's no wires here and this one i cannot fucking move it because it's stuck to the main board all right and now fingers crossed here you go folks it's not staying properly because it's not glued in there you go you see so we do have power folks we do have 12 volts led power and now let's check the power consumption for this led to be able to lit so we're gonna put the multimeter into the amps reading and we're gonna wait all right folks so now we do have the multimeter connected i don't know how to put it to see it but you're gonna see in this corner mm, 
God damn it. Here you go, folks. As you can see, here is 2.9 amps, nearly 3 amps to make that one light. So, you tell me, folks, this is not a free energy device. This is barely you can make, you can call this one a generator. It is possible, though. But instead of this motor, if we're gonna find some kind of motor or something else that's not gonna draw this much power or some kind of motor that no matter if it's loaded or not is gonna consume the same thing, then we can call this one a generator. But in the meanwhile, enjoy this Bose motor generator 12 volts output. Thanks all for watching friends and see you next time. Yeah, no skills required. Out!